Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 21 video. Before I get into the video with my Dodger team guys, I just wanted to say a big thank you for 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel. It's been an amazing ride guys, and I can't thank you all enough for all the support you've given me. I enjoy making MLB 9 Innings content for you guys every week, and I'm super happy to have hit this milestone. And since we've hit 500 subscribers, with that milestone comes new content to the channel. I will be doing showcase videos from now on. Now, I will still be doing regular videos uh, with pack openings and stuff like that, but I've opened up showcasing videos for all you guys to show off your teams and for me to review them and help you guys uh, better your teams and improve them in MLB 9 innings. Now, I have a, sh a short criteria to go over with you guys, not too long. Uh, I will get into the video, but in order to be showcased, you need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment in the comment section down below of any of my videos requesting to be showcased. Uh, also, don't forget to include your team name when you comment. And if you would like your team to be showcased, you can also DM me on Discord or on Reddit if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. Uh, if I do miss your request, please keep sending the requests until I respond confirming that your request has been noted. And after you've subscribed and requested to be showcased, uh, send a request to me in the game uh, to the 2018 Fireballs account. All this will also be in the description, guys, so you can go check it out down there as well. Uh, I will make a list on who requested to be showcased based on three different things. I'll do it based off of when you requested it in the comments, if you subscribed, and if you sent me an in-game friend request. Once you complete all three of those things, I will add you to the list, and it will go in chronological order, so first come, first serve, whoever does all that first, I'll put them on the list first, and then so on and so forth. Uh, I will try to be showcasing three to five teams per video, and do my best to upload at least one showcase video per week. Uh, sometimes my schedule does get crammed, so I may or may not be able to upload as much, but I'm shooting for one showcase video at least per week. Uh, the time of the, the time length of the videos also depends on the teams that uh, I have up next. And throughout the showcase videos, I plan on giving my best advice to improve your guys' teams and some of my personal opinions on certain skills, trains, and things like that. Uh, if I do make wrong assumptions on your guys' teams, please let me know in the comments down below of that video. But anyways, guys, I'm super excited. I'm super hyped up to get into reviewing your guys' teams and showing them off to everybody else. But yeah, make sure you check out the description box below if you missed any of that. And comment down below to request your teams to be showcased. And I can't wait uh, to showcase all your guys' teams. But let's hop straight into the video with the packs on my Dodger team. Alright guys, so let's hop straight into the packs here. We have a lot of packs from the event and from league mode. So we'll start off with the 42 silver player packs, hoping for a Dodgers prime. Uh, ideally, Eric Gagne would be the best prime for my Dodger team. He's really the only prime I need left, so that would be great if I could pull him, or any prime in general would be very nice. Uh, I also did forget to mention a few things uh, about the showcase videos, guys. If you uh, find that my friend uh, friend request list is full, uh, there'll be a pop-up that'll say my friend request list is full. Don't worry about that. Just send the request and I will see it in my um, friend requests queue. So it'll show up on my screen. I'll see you guys and I'll eventually get to you. So don't worry if it says that when you send the request that my friend list is full. Also, don't forget to comment your guys' team names. I can't stress that enough. If I don't know who you are and I don't know what your team name is, uh, I won't be able to showcase you. As we pull a diamond right there, let's see who this is. Is that David Hale? Yes, it is. Pretty good skills for a a pitcher, any any pitcher for that matter of fact. But he's too terrible of a card, so always nice to see a diamond though. Looking to get Kirk Gibson to level six in special training today as well. And also looking to upgrade Clayton Kershaw to level 20. I was able to get him to level 18. I pulled a diamond from end of season rewards to upgrade him to level 18. So hopefully I can get him to level 20. Also, I am still upgrading this Walker Bueller, so we'll do some upgrades on him as well. That one was unsuccessful. 
Let's see if I can get a success with the silver. Funny enough, 21 is not his best year. Uh, his 2018 card is actually his best year. Uh, considering that was his rookie year, that's pretty impressive. Uh, but then again, Comp to Us doesn't always get the stat distribution right based on uh, analytics. So it's a uh, so-so, I guess. But let's do Kirk Gibson. And once we get him to level 6, all three of his gold skills will turn to diamond. So I'm super excited to see that. And after that, we also have some skill changes that we'll throw into Kershaw. Uh, I also have a grade increase reset ticket that I will be using as well. His grade increase is at a 67. I uh, would like to see that a little bit higher, especially since he's a signature card. All right, 92.6%. We're almost there. Should be able to finish him in the next two sets of special training. And if I do have enough skill changes left over, I will use them on Trey Turner, who we got from the Diamond Wish Player pack. And I'm hoping that he can be a very good shortstop for me. Or sorry, a second baseman for me. I've been looking for a team second baseman for the longest time, and I finally got him with the Wish Player pack. All right, throw in that one last card, Pablo Sandoval. All right, let's finish up those packs. I will be going pitcher with the team selected diamond pack. Now that we have a full lineup of Dodgers, I'm looking forward to improving my bullpen. And there's a gold player prime right there. Who is this one? It is you, Darvish. And we also get a Willie Wilson, I believe that is. But very nice to see a prime. Do the rest of these premium player packs. So we get two more golds there. Nothing useful. All right, so one diamond out of about 50 premium player packs. That's pretty good. All right, we'll do some team selective packs. Hoping for Kershaw to upgrade him. Really looking for a good skill set on him as well. Skills were amazing in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave it in a link in the top right corner of this video. It was insane. I, I got so hyped, guys. You, you need to watch that video. As we pull a Max Scherzer right there. Would love to have his 2021 signature card. The card art on, the card art on that signature is very good. Sousa Jr., 21. Haven't pulled a diamond out of these in a, a good minute, so that would be surprising if I did pull one. So no golds yet. There's a Ryu. And there's a Kershaw, so we can hopefully use that to finish him off. Last one. We'll be saving one for another craft. Julio Urias. I have him at level 20 already, so he'll be going into special training. All right, 14 gold player packs, all from the event. Nothing in that first batch. Anything in the last four? Doesn't look like it. Hey, Mike Napoli. That's actually... So, big update, guys. I almost forgot about the last update. That's a really good first base card uh, for the Red Sox. Eyes a little bit low, but 75 power is good. Um, they added Mike Napoli back into the game. They also added Justin Morneau into the game. I also did see that they removed a couple cards from the game. Uh, Fred Lynn from the Red Sox, one of the best or better second, uh, not second baseman, but outfielders for the Red Sox, was taken out of the game. And Harmon Killebrew 
also was taken out of the game. So kind of upset that Fred Lynn was taken out of the game. He was the second best outfielder for the Red Sox, but uh, the Red Sox do kind of have way too many outfielders as Sigs as let's go. There we go. Kershot level 20. We'll train him up. And actually, I'm going to cut later in this video to finishing up his train and trying to get skills on him now that we got him to level 20. But let's special grade, uh, special upgrade Kirk Gibson. Uh, but as I was saying, they took out uh, Fred Lynn, so not that big of a deal in my opinion. My outfield is full, so I don't really need a, another outfielder since, I, since that last video. So... Hoping that they add somebody that is on par with his stats, though. Uh, I was just looking at baseball reference. Uh, they, I saw Bill uh, Miller, I believe it is. He had a, an amazing 2003 season with the Red Sox. So if they would add him as a prime, I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, he had a crazy batting average. I believe it was 375. Uh, only 19 home runs, but... I don't know, that would be a pretty good card to add in the game considering uh, his position that he played. I believe he played a little bit of first base. Uh, the Red Sox do need a couple more good first basemen to pull from. Uh, but yeah, that would be amazing if they added him in the game. And as for Harmon Killebrew, uh, a little upsetting, but I've noticed that there are a lot of third base legends, or quite a couple at least. So not that big of a deal as well and the chances of pulling him are not that hot uh, are not that high but kind of sad for twins fans uh like when ted williams was taken out of the game uh, that kind of hurt me because i'm a red sox fan but i hope they replace him with like fred lynn somebody good and suitable to be a legend anyways six ultimate player packs let's see who we get from these no diamonds out of ultimates. Unfortunate, but we'll see who we get in the remaining packs. There's Napoli's 16 card. Uh, that is a signature year for that card. Very good power and eye and contact as well. And his low fielding and speed give him great, great increased distribution. So that's a very beautiful card. All right, we'll do the four premium vintage player packs. Can I pull a legend? All four silvers. And no legend. All right, let's do the team selective diamond batter pitcher pack. Looking for a better bullpen arm. Be insane if I pulled a prime out of this. Very unlikely though, and it's not. And I pull another Kenley Jansen. This one actually might be better than the one I have in my lineup, but very slightly. Let me compare him. I believe I have 16, I do. Actually, he's not. Uh, it's borderline. Yeah, not worth switching over. Practically the same stats all across the board, except for the break, which is not that big of a deal, considering um, it's only five points or six points, or sorry, four points. But yeah, not worth replacing in my opinion. I will keep him on the side, though, just in case I do pull his SIG. All right, now I'm gonna cut to after finishing Kershaw's train and I will grade increase reset him. I'll also do some distribution tickets and skill changes on him. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so just finished training Kershaw to level 20. Uh, his train is very underwhelming, kind of decent, but the stamina is way too high for my liking. So we're gonna be using development redistribution tickets on him. I have four of them. So I'm going to see how these pan out. Haven't had the luck that I really need with them on my Boston team. That one's pretty good right there with four stamina, but the special training doesn't line up for me. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. And before I do any more, I don't want to make the mistake of landing good skills on him and uh, opposite train. So I'm going to actually skill change him first. Almost did a big... Uh, mistake there but we'll do skill changes first and see if we land something like finesse pitcher or dominant pitcher on him
He is set up for the dominant pitcher bonus, so that would be ideal. If I do get finesse though, I'll have to work around it and train him that way, and hopefully the reset tickets give me something good. If not, I'll do it manually uh, by myself. I've figured that um, reset tickets or redistribution tickets aren't that uh, useful. The luck that they give isn't that plentiful, so I'll have to try doing it myself manually if I don't have any success, but you never know. I just haven't had the greatest success with those tickets at all, pretty much. So nothing doing so far, which is not good. It seems that my skill luck only comes on my, what you call it, my Boston team. But we'll use the redistribution tickets on him. Whatever he gets, hopefully it's good. Uh, we'll see. And dang, 27... <laughs> Oh my goodness, 21 to stamina. That is not what I'm looking for right there. Oh my goodness, that is 21 to break. What on earth are these redistributions? Please go to velocity or something. Oh my goodness, guys, this is insane. Uh, the randomness is kind of hilarious, but at the same time, I need a good train, you know what I mean? But let's finish off the video with a great increase reset ticket. Hopefully we can end off on a good note, get him up above 70 maybe, and sadly he's going to go down, so a little bummer there. Go down to 63, but once we do get good skills on him and we get a better train on him, I will insert him in the lineup. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget about the new showcasing videos. Leave a comment down below. Uh, with your team and a request to be showcased. Also, go ahead and check out my social media, my Instagram, and my Reddit. I post extra MLB 9 innings content uh, that I do off camera. And that's going to do it, guys. So I'll see you in the next video.